we're already on this basketball train, so we might as well see who's uh, who makes your loins all saucy, Charles. In I the, mean, in the NBA. it's going to be very hard for anybody yeah. to top facing kid. Yeah, well, let's let's start. So we're going to start, you know, we always do this two parts. Uh, I kind of have it planned out. So, we, you know, we usually do like 12 episodes. So by the final episode, we'll have an actual finals. Uh, so mm-hmm. that's that's where we're kind of at right now. So let's see. We are... Let me just try and reset this. So let's let's go with the Western Conference. Yeah, Western we'll, Conferences. We'll do it's the fair. Western Conference first. And let's see. They, we're Oh, God, man. Uh, I'm just going by alphabetical order. And lo and behold, it's Jason Kidd. Well, I mean, Jason Kidd's effing handsome. Even at like the spry age of 53, I so think is what he's There's right now. current Jason Kidd right now. The head coach 49. of the Dallas Mavs. Yeah. Makes ball look good. There he is when he was young. Uh, oh God, he was in that love triangle with, um, gosh, uh, Tony was Braxton, just... right? Was yeah, it, yeah. I'll break my heart. And some of uh, his other, uh, I think it was, was it Phoenix teammates or Dallas teammates? It was Dallas. Yeah, it was probably Dallas. Uh, I think because that's what caused him the bail. <laughs> yeah, yep. And then uh, uh, had his own issues uh, off the court uh, in his past career, but. Uh, in his past life, but uh, you know now he now he's with the Mavs, and there he is. There's uh, there's your boy. Help right. beat Phoenix, so that gives him an extra point of hands. <laughs> I'm serious, you mm. know. It's like all right, you know, all right. So there, there's the handsome. All yeah, right. So okay. say you love me again. <laughs> all right. So that's that's one. We're 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 down with one right there. So next we've got. And, and you know what? Uh, I think we've got a new uh, sponsor. I think we. Oh, we've got Lenovo today, Charles. Oh, good for you, Lenovo. I yeah, almost Le- bought Leno- your book office. Yeah, I think. Did no? Did, uh, did Andrew buy Lenovo? He might have. I'm not even sure. Maybe I was. I was vetting it, and then I decided not to for things. All right. So reason. Lenovo is sponsoring the handsomest NBA head coaches right now. <laughs> there we go. Right, okay. Lenovo. Let's uh, let's go next. Is uh, Michael Malone Denver? Ooh. Michael can Malone, him, Denver can Nuggets. With, can I get him with hair? <laughs> well, uh, I'm trying to zoom in here, but uh, there he is. Uh, it, it's a bit rough there. It's a bit rough. That, that's a close-up image of him right now. I mean, him with facial hair makes me think of Rich Eps, Eps, whatever his name, Epson or whatever, the guy who used to be on ESPN but now is on the NFL Network. Uh, if he went falling, like, the guy who always Rich does, Eisen, like, Rich, Rich Eisen? Eisen, yeah, there we go. Oh, I think Rich Epstein, Epstein, that those memes. I was about but to he, say like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> yeah, he makes me think of Rich Eisen. Um, if the balding happened, I mean, there he is I, with hair. There he is with hair a little bit right there. I can't I mean, do it. No, thank you. No. All right. So that's a, that's a no for you. We're going to move on here. Uh, next is up oh, Steve Kerr. Yeah, Steve Kerr is kind of handsome. For the aggregate of knowing what's going into basketball, he doesn't age. Looks good. Also, Check. off the court opinions. You know, off the court he's, opinions. He's good. He's yeah, he, good. He, you know, he, he, he's a trooper. Yeah. He's, he's uh, uh, very much uh, a progressive minded human being. He wears the suits very yeah. well. He got punched in the face by Michael Jordan. Yep. You know, he's also won multiple rings. He's accomplished. So that's the standard I'm going to give to NBA a little bit too. Did you win rings as a player or a coach? <laughs> yeah. Because you are a, most coaches end up becoming players to some degree. Or I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Most players become a coach to a degree. So there's going to be a little bit more scrutiny. Yeah. A little bit more scrutiny. That's true. All right. Next, Steven Silas, Houston. See what Steven Silas looks like. It's All one right. of those things where you know this guy for years, and um, yeah. he's he's on the younger side. Huh? How yeah, old is he? How old is he? I, I don't. He I don't is. Like uh, oh, like, oh, he's forty eight. He's forty eight years old. Yeah, he's handsome. Went to Brown. Went to Brown. Yeah. So he's an Ivy League guy. All right. So he's, he's smart. helping Houston with the uh, rebuild. Yeah, yeah. I, I want him. To, he with his slender figure, he should probably get more slim fit suits because I see some <laughs> yeah. bagginess. That's just a little fresh uh, advice to you guys. Oh well, maybe he's going. You know, old school retro. I mean, he was from. He played around that time. He grew up around that time. So listen, might... you can you can harp to the old days, but when yeah. it comes to fashion, you gotta keep it modern. Okay. okay? All right. Next, Tyron Lou. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Tyron handsome. Tyron Lue, there he is. Remember when the, he had the dreads and the cornrows mm-hmm. back then? Yeah. And oh, now cool. there he is now. 
I, I don't know, Charles. It, it doesn't do it for me. Personally. Maybe. But, Maybe because yeah. they have like he doesn't have a single good photo up here. It, it's got the baby face to him though. I, get, how, I mean, he's not the old most attractive. Ty- how, how old is Tyron? Well, he oh, is. Uh, he's forty-five. He's forty-five. Years you old. see that angle at the press conference? Yes, but then some of the other ones is like no. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. I'm a redacted. He's he can he can take me out. <laughs> Next, uh, Darvin Ham. That's the um, Lakers head coach. Yeah, Darvin. I think Garvin because like Ronnie Garvin. Um, right. Darvin. Let's see a full bit because I watched an interview of him, but I don't think he's there. Is with the the, uh, when he was with the Bucks. All right, let me. There is got a little Uncle Phil to him. Is it terrible to say that he looks like generic creative character coach? <laughs> a little bit. Well, I was saying a little more Uncle Phil in a sense. Mm. Mm. I think that that's a, that's probably wait, one of wait, the wait, better wait, wait. photos that you got. Is he about to go beat somebody's ass in the photo above? Because right. he he gets a point just for that. Uh no, I think those are his players giving them you know, or a little bit. I may actually no, I think it's I, I have no idea. That's a ref. That's one. That's uh, who's that? Why Darvin Ham is ready? To be, it looked like he's about to go beat some ass. So I'm not even he, sure what's a, going on there. A, if he's a bro like that, there then, he is in a suit. Let me see the suit. So. Okay, well, I, I mean, it's kind of like it's the clothing makes the man mentality. Yeah. So with the with the suits, yeah, the regular shirts. Yeah. There he is at the press conference with the Lakers. I look, I'm the same way too. Wearing you know, the, uh, home, the yellow tie. Like, yeah, at home I look like Shrek. <laughs> at outside on court, we flash and show. So I I will give Darvin a clothing credibility. You you clean up nicely. All right. Next, Taylor Jenkins, Memphis. Oh hell no. I've been bringing it up so I can criticize it. But yeah, no. there we go. There he is. Especially how he was kind of acting a fool a little bit this season, this postseason. Looks like Tom Segura. Yeah, it's Tom Segura <laughs> and David Harbour had a baby. I've been watching Stranger <laughs> Things. Seriously. Because, okay, go. one of my greatest fears, and people in my life, if they listen to the show, are going to know this. Mm. One of my greatest fears is how I'm going to go bald. Because we all accept how we're going to go, that we're, as men, we're going to go bald at some point in our life. And I have debated it. I, I get freaked out when I just comb my hair. And you haven't all seen All right, there before, he is, completely clean shaven and in a suit. Oh, no. When he, was so, at, when he was at Penn. So with Taylor, the way his hair is going... Actually, he looks better with the gives beard. Me, Never mind. ...gives me anxiety. <laughs> because it, it's not just receding to the horse the horseshoe, but it's going like one side to the horseshoe. That's why he shaved and everything like that. So he found his look to deal with aging, but he, he is not my cup of yeah. tea. Don't, don't let me get bald. All me, right. Please, God. I'll sacrifice children in order to, <laughs> to not go like that. Next, we've got uh, Chris Finch, Minnesota. Let's, let's take a look at Chris Finch. I can already tell you I think it's going to come down to the Easter Conference, but it's Ooh. Ooh, boy. I'm running a lot of thought processes in my head Ooh. because there's some jokes I need to crack on certain coaches. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. no, thank you. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, we'll just skip it. No. Ooh, not even a good smile. Never mind. No. Ooh, okay. Let's... I will tell you this, though. Chris Finch is a mood. As the kids say, where you know when he's all upset, I'm like, damn, that look, he like he just got out of the bed and mm. someone was interrupting him. I can get behind that. All right, all right. Willie Green, New Orleans. Um, let's see what Willie looks like because I remember him as a player, but let's see if I remember him. All right, he's on the younger side. How old is Willie Green? Let's see. He oh, is. Like he's 40. 40 he's 40 years old. Willie's kind of handsome. That's not a good photo of him that says "Welcome, okay, Coach." Uh, but... uh, actually, here's him in the in the suit with the Pelicans. There we go. Yeah, he, he, not too bad. Not too shabby. Looks yeah, good there. Yeah, he's good. Looks really good. His barber does good with that hairline. You know, almost yeah. pulled off the upset. But he exposed the sun, so that, that there's some extra points right there. Yeah, yeah, he gets a point right there. You know, yeah. he has a deal. Look, he got he got some wins without Zion, and he gets my sympathy for having to deal with that. He's in shape, that's for sure. Still, uh, Listen, man, yeah. you know, we, we take it care of it. I'm going to let go of my body when I'm 50. I got 17 <laughs> more years. All right. So, yeah, Will Green's up there. He wins some, beat the Suns a little bit, you're on my horizon. All right. Uh, let's see. Mark Dano, Oklahoma City. All right. I don't know what he looks like. So yeah, well, I mean, neither, neither does Wikipedia because the there's not even, a photo, not even a photo there. All right, let's go. 
Uh, Mark Daniel, there he is. I feel like watch him be the most handsome man. He is. Like, uh, uh, he's thirty six years old. Dear God. Um, what am I doing with my life? He's kind of cute, man. There you he know, is. And uh, in the most there isn't a great way possible. So, Mark Daniel. I don't know. He's got to do something is, with that hair. Listen, Mark Daniel is what the ladies and gentlemen call a safe bet. <laughs> I guess so. He's a safe bet. He also kind of looks like. Um, yes, Freddie, we're on. Um, he looks like huh. Charles from Brooklyn Nine Nine, Joe Latruglio. <laughs> so, to a degree. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, a little goofy. That brown suit, though, is not there. So, Mark Daniel, you're the safe bet. All right. Okay. You're not the desperate Brett, but yeah, you're he's, the he's got to do something with that hair. I mean, oh. that is a horrible haircut. I, I, do, oh. I do not like. <laughs> it's because the hairline. He, that's a Caesar. Fre- Freddie, uh, I guess you haven't been on in a bit, but uh, we've been doing a uh, like a, a Final Four-ish tournament uh, where we're, we're ranking the handsomest head coaches and managers in the four major North American pro sports. And so we've already gone through the handsomest – uh, MLB managers, handsomest NFL head coaches, and Sean now we're McVay and um, uh, Gabe, Gabe Kepler. So Gabe Kepler and, and Sean McVay have made it to the Final Four. So now we're we're doing the NBA. We're doing the Western Conference today. We'll see which one uh, you know moves Charles's loins a little bit, and uh, and then uh, we'll uh, move on to the Eastern Conference uh, next episode, and then we'll move on to the NHL, and then we'll uh, crown a, a champion of uh, of uh, Best Bay. In current pro sports, so yeah. there you go. Uh, MLB, NBA, yeah, <laughs> we we got this. Yeah, Bay HL, you know. Yeah, here we go. Uh, next, we've got. Let's see, where were we? So we're in Oklahoma. Oh, Monty Williams. <sighs> <No>. Yeah, <laughs> Monty Williams. Here we go. Not even because he's on Phoenix. I just know. No. no, I already gave Darvin Ham the fit, so it's like no. All righty. Yeah, okay. No, that's a no for you for Monty Williams. Next is... Uh, I like Monty, too. Yeah. All, all shitting aside that I do on Phoenix, I yeah. actually do like Monty. I've never taken swipes at Monty Williams. Yeah, I think he's he's, he's earned he's earned his uh, his way up here. So yeah. he, he wasn't just, just handed to him, you know what I mean? So uh, next, uh, Chauncey. Oh. In Portland. Chauncey no. Bills. Oh, Chauncey. I didn't even like Chauncey when he was broadcasting, so yeah. this this helps me out between. Yeah, I don't right. say I don't want to say Chauncey's fugly. But... <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna say no. All I'm right. just gonna say no. Okay, next, Mike how Brown. Did, how did he get the Portland job? That's all I want. I, I, nobody knows. I, I, sheesh, it was just like a random choice. Next, uh, Mike Brown. Yeah, no. Mike Brown has looked the same for 15 years. And yeah, good on him. Consistency, right? But no, I, I, I've already you know the Darvin Ham is the one I've made the the exception for. All right, but good for Mike Brown for like exfoliating and not aging at all. Yeah, no, he's he's yeah he's he hasn't aged a bit. He is a stylish dresser though. Mm. Next, ooh, here we go, Pop. Pop. Pop got handsome with the fucking beard. Greg Popovich. I'm just saying, you know, remember we put that clout, yeah. you know, this is he, guy he who got that, uh, the, that Ian McLennan type of look. Yeah, well, well, when, he, when, he, when he was clean shaven, fugly, you know, mm-hmm. hell nah. But then, you know, he grew the beard. Yeah. And, he's like, and, he, call and the hair in some cases too. Yeah. And he's like, I'm going to call your grandma later. Yeah. Like, oh shit. Well, there he is. Look at him yelling right there. And he had to deal with Kawhi Leonard, so he has my uh, sympathy for that. Yeah. All right. So, oh, that, well, oh, that's young Greg Popovich. I've never seen a photo of that. It, it, he's just... never. <laughs> there was there was no beard. Yeah. And then there was beard. Yeah. Okay. So and then let's see. Utah has an empty. Quinn, spot okay, right so now. in memoriam of Quinn Snyder and his like, I was doing dabs of coke in the back <laughs> bathroom kind of thing because that man made me feel anxious every time the camera yeah. went to him oh boy he put them in such a yeah. bad position yeah like quitting literally like Oof. a week ago got them psycho eyes right there right it's scary <laughs> if i had him versus steve kerr on the on the who do you think is going to kill uh, you uh, on a date John, it would jonathan be crane would... from batman begins oh my god yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, well, I don't forgot what the actor's name is, but yeah. Oh, um, Kill, uh, Killian Murphy. There we go. There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah, you got Scarecrow. Me. Scarecrow. All right. And that's, yeah, that's the Western Conference, Charles. So who's it going to be? Oh, you're missing somebody. I, I think that's it. Yeah, I no. just went down the entire list. So that's the that, Clippers. I, I did. The, uh, oh, it's, I'm sorry. Yeah, I saw yeah. all the photos of him in the Cavs. Yeah. yeah, yeah um, so. It's still Jason Kidd. All right. Willie Green gets a little bit of consideration as a follow up, but Jason Kidd is going to go from there. Okay. Well, that's, that's it. That's the. Uh, handsomest coaches in in the western conference for the nba so we're uh saints row uh it, it, that's coming out you can get the boss uh creation thing right now if you want to so if anybody wants out there they're sponsoring us tonight and they're also sponsoring this segue into uh the handsomest eastern conference nba head coaches right now so would you crack up if i told you i would have a theme song for this if you could play on the intro you want me to play one? You sure. Find something? Okay, hold on. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I already had the song. We're going to get copyright circuit, but I don't care. Uh, oh, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. It, yeah. None of this matters. <laughs> so uh, let me let me go on YouTube. That's probably the easiest place I can find it. And uh, let me see. Uh, what, what, all right, what do we got? What do we got? All right, so put in Shawn Michaels' theme song. Uh, Shawn Michaels' theme song. There we go. Uh, 93 to 2014 version? Yeah, that's fine. All righty. Get a little wrestling in my handsomest man. Oh, sexy boy. <laughs> yep. Uh, hold on, I'm waiting for these ads to go through before I actually play it. All right, so skip that. Okay. All righty. So let me turn up the mic on that. It's going to come in real loud, but I don't care. Here we go. So now you can segue to the proper introductions of the most handsome NFL NBA coach. Oh boy, here we go. All right, uh, just trying to get it going real quick. Uh, there, there's the mic. Okay, here we go. All right, that's super loud now. So let me let me lower that so it kind of plays in the background. I've got the let me do an extended version of it. Fine, but hold on. Let me let me lower that just a bit more. <laughs> There we go. Right. I just want to be able to so that we could hear ourselves while it's going on in the background. But sure, Charles, uh, that, that's that. Well, be you, you can pause it after you segue the intro, right? Because now <laughs> we're playing for keeps here. Well, so we it, just want it, to. Yeah, it, it's in. Yeah, it is going. Uh, it, it now, okay, it's in. Uh, right, whatever. I, I, I did this wrong, but whatever. It, that's that's fine. Uh, we can do it for an outro. I have no idea. Well, it's in. So we're going to cover our stuff. WWE is going to come after us like they always do. Uh, but yeah. uh, we'll, we'll come after them uh, later on in the show because there's some interesting things happening there. I mean, uh, this is my only time I could joke about wrestling up here, <laughs> right? Versus everything else. Jeez, okay. Uh, let me go down the list of NBA head coaches again. Let me bring who, that up. Who is a true sexy boy? Yeah. Francisco. Huh? Who's a true sexy boy in the NBA? Well, well I mean, we're, we're about to go. We're about to go. So uh, let's see. Got the list here. I think pretty much everybody used to conferences has is has a job so uh first one atlanta hawks nate mcmillan i feel like i'm being generous all right do you do you, do you like carl winslow from family matters oh, <laughs> that's man. who he reminds me of no no i can't do it no nah. all right I, I i think it's like the facial hair it doesn't help him at all he should grow a beard and see how that works i think a beard would help him yeah he, he, he's done the goatee before, but maybe he can do the full thing. Uh, all right, so there's Nate McMillan. That's a no. Next is, well, uh, Boston Celtics. All right. Doka. Doka. Let's go. I, I, think, I think because now I've seen him kind of, he's a put-up shove kind of yeah, guy. We've seen, we've seen him a few times. All right, there he is. Yeah, yeah. From, from... He, he, he's got an intensity to him. Yeah, there you go. Looks good in a suit. He's married to Nia Long, I think, so that's a win. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, there with, I mean, with the family. All right. Yeah, Nia Long is beautiful, so he gets a thumbs up on that one. Okay. All right. There he is in the suit. So he's not, not too shabby. Cleans up pretty nicely. Has a has a pretty nice beard. Right. He's uh, how old is this man? Forty-four. He is forty-four. All right. Uh, next, haha, Steve Nash. Battle of Coke eyes between him and Quinn Snyder, I tell you. <laughs> so Steve Nash is kind of handsome, but is it because of the hair? 
And understand this with the NBA, a lot of guys are bald or shaved head. Uh, I so mean, yeah, I mean you know he's in shape. He's he's in um, I mean, cardio shape for sure. That's for sure. Yeah. Right. And you know his hair kind of he's fixed Canadian, it out a little bit. Plays hockey, plays some soccer. Some variety there. Like I thought he was fugly as a player, but you know, like wine, you age better. Yeah, there he, he is in, in Brooklyn, right? Not too shabby. All right. Uh, so oh, you're handsome. All right. Okay, Steve Nash. There you go. Uh, next, uh, ooh, uh, the Charlotte Hornets haven't hired a coach. No. Oh yeah, that's right. There was they, the, they know they're they, in this competition. They, like, they, we can't uh, this I, I read something. Mike Michael Jordan uh, interviewed Mike D'Antoni. That would be like the worst thing he could do. <laughs> I don't think Mike D'Antoni could deal with uh, um, Levar Ball's personality mm. whatsoever. All right. Next is uh, Billy Donovan out Billy's, in uh, Chicago. Billy's kind of handsome. There he is. Uh, very stern like look to him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, I mean, he's looked the same for the most part. He's 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 uh, the hair's gotten a little grayer for sure, but he's for the most part has, has looked the same. I think it's because he has that intense look to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he, like he, he, even he when he played, like you see it when he played there too. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Billy Donovan screams dangerous. He's dangerous, Billy Donovan. There he is with a smile. Not too bad. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, I'll dock him some points for being a former Gators head coach, but yeah, yeah but he's a winner. <laughs> yeah, well, it's <laughs> back to back to backs. All right, next is uh, JB Bickerstaff out in Cleveland. All right, so th- maybe this is what Nate McMillan would look like if he had a beard. <laughs> My God, <laughs> they kind of look a little similar. A little kind, bit. Kind of, yeah. Uh, I'm not even feeling the beard that much, man. Let yeah. me go on my own Google so I can go from there. Like, I don't think he's not attractive looking, but I don't know if he's handsome. Average, dude. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I appreciate him just for getting a chance because he made the Rockets relevant there. Yeah. Um, I forgot he was the head coach for it. I don't know. His facial reactions... Uh, I'm, I'm looking no, at some of the stuff. Alright, alright. Yeah. That's fine. I can't do it. Sorry, JB. Next, uh, Dwayne Casey out in Detroit. Dwayne Casey doesn't age, man. No, he does not. He does not. Dwayne Casey's handsome. Yeah? You're going to give it to I'm him? Just, all yeah, right. I'm going to give it to him. Okay. I'm giving it to him. Next, so uh, Dwayne Casey. So next we've got, let's see... Uh, oh, Rick Carlisle. Rick Carlisle is not fucking handsome. <laughs> yeah, now that he's gone bald too. We've been mentioning like Rick Scott Voldemort comparisons a couple times in, yeah. this, in this tournament, so I feel like it's just apropos. But Rick Carlisle, and also apparently he's a dick, so you know it goes from there. Yeah. I like Rick Carlisle. I think he's a damn good coach. Rick Carlisle is not a handsome coach now. Yeah. Even when he had hair, it wasn't really that great. No. Uh, okay. Uh, next, we've got... Uh, well, come on. Spo. Eric Spolster is fucking handsome. Mm-hmm. He, he's everything. You got know how we said Dave Filipino Rodbergs? Filipino jeans, that's for sure. Hair, man. Yeah. He knows how to wear the suit or the polo. But you know how we joke about Dave Roberts can get you all the cool places? This is the manager in the NBA that can get you all the cool connect. Think on it. He coached LeBron, Wade. Mm-hmm. He was there when Shaq was on. He knows Pat Riley. He's coached Jimmy. Yeah. He even made Hassan Whiteside look cool. Yeah. And that is saying something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There we go. Spo. We support Spo. Yeah. All right. With no biasness at all. <laughs> all right. Next, uh, Mike Budenholzer out in Milwaukee. Mike Budenholzer gets a point for the beard. <laughs> but if, if you look, so there, you know when running, I typed it in on Google, there's a specific entry just for the beard alone. <laughs> so I, I, I wish sometimes people had access to our chats because, <laughs> aside from our uh, NSA and, and feds who are watching and looking at us like, what the hell? Um, so 
you know how we make that running joke of mayo is too spicy for people? <laughs> Mike Budenholzer, when he didn't have the beard, was the textbook definition of people who I thought mayo was too <laughs> There spicy. he is, the photo when he was with the Hawks, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> he grows a beard. <laughs> Grow a beard. He takes one yeah. Latina, grows a beard. <laughs> he just goes, Orozco Pio! Yeah. Yep. Mike, Mike Budenholzer is not handsome to me. He's yeah. adds to the somebody, but he, yeah. he's not even gonna get in the semifinals of this yeah. bracket. He's, if you like Jim Gaffigan, and, you know. he gets he gets. There's one I'm just seeing now with crazy eyes. Um, mm. he, he gets a point for eliminating the Phoenix Suns. Yeah, yeah, doing the thing. But but no. All right, next. Uh, okay, how about Tibbs? No man, <laughs> Tom Tib- Thibodeau. Who, who the hell is Tibbs coaching now? All right. Do you like Gru from <laughs> from Despicable Me? Because that's who he reminds me of. For some Would you reason. believe me if I told you that I forgot Tibbs was still coaching? Because that's how long the love affair with the New York Knicks went oh, one whole season. Yeah. And then it went hardcore. No. So this might not be true at all. But Tom Thibodeau looks like he'll beat me if I say something. And wrong. do you blame him for uh, Derrick Rose's career never amounting to anything? I blame him for just for just letting Bill Paxson or whatever his name is over in Chicago provide him with any player mm. when it's clear that he needed a specific set of players. Mm-hmm. He he is your prototypical, I need a superstar, but the window is only a season and a half. He is the Frank Vogel. I believe like if you popped him in with that kind of roster, he would have won you that and only that season. Yeah, you get a feel-good season. Like when he was yeah. out in Minnesota. He brought thing. Minnesota yeah. one playoffs yeah, round. Exactly. And then everything mm-hmm. with the shit afterwards. I know what Tip of those worth. But he's too demanding, man. He doesn't yeah. he doesn't know how to evaluate talent, yeah. and I feel like he doesn't know how to communicate what he actually needs for a GM because it's always play defense. Hmm. All right, next we got Jamal Mosley out in Orlando. All right, let me look at Jamal Mosley because I'll tell you right now, I have not watched a single Magic game. Hmm. And neither has Andrew. There he is. Uh, how old is Jamal Mosley? He's young. He's on. He's forty three. Uh, there we go. Do we have a photo of the poor guy? Yeah. Um, know, yeah. Kind of? Look, yeah, he's, he looks clean in a suit. Is it wrong to say that he reminds me of Dave Chappelle? Dave Chappelle was an NBA coach? I think it's the nah. like the teeth a little bit? Nah, not me. Not I'm me. just seeing certain angles. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, he looks pretty clean in that suit, man. I mean, he's clean. Sure, sure, yeah. I'll give it to him. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next, we've got <laughs> Doc Rivers. Doc's kind of handsome. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shit on Doc on that. He's he's broken promises. You know. I don't know. I, I don't see it. I don't. Let me. I let don't me see it. it. But I might be thinking of like Philadelphia Doc, because you got to remember. Here's the hard part too. These coaches have been around for a very long time. Like Nick McMillan's been around. Krakow has been around. So yeah. there might be a general uh, progression. I mean, let's see. Oh, I, I want to see where yeah, he was. That's in what Philly he looked like when he now. was playing. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. No, I just wanted to look. Just, just wanted to see. He put on some pounds. I'll, I'll tell you that between oh, yeah, the time. He got old. He was... Yeah, he got old. He, he, listen, he, man. He, he pulled a Dave Roberts. <laughs> yeah, but listen, man. Like, I, you got to remember, I'm a wrestling fan, so there's dudes in the fifties that are still jack steroids. Yeah. But you know. Yeah. yeah. You know. Mm, no. Now that I'm looking at more photos of Doc. Doc looks good in a polo, but when he's in the suit and everything, he looks very sad. <laughs> that's he does. Sad, that's because sad things are happening. <laughs> yeah. So we'll pass on Doc. All right. Uh, next, we've got uh, Nick Nurse. Nick Nurse is fucking goofy. <laughs> Nick Nurse. I like Nick Nurse. Me and my buddy were talking about it, how I don't understand Toronto fans or any fans who trash Nick Nurse. When I don't want to say you have a bunch of no names on that team. Nick Nurse after, looks like, like Bill Engel. Yeah, but he's so goofy. <laughs> he's so goofy. He. That's Nick what Nurse, I mean. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to say this delicately. I don't think I can. Nick Nurse looks like what a cartoon oh. creator would make a white character look like in an animated TV show. I'm sorry. I, there's no other way I can say it but that. And I feel like I'm not wrong. There's a picture of him doing a thumbs up in one of my images. So, oh, yeah. you see it. You see it. It was yeah. in the candy stripe. Yeah. Go up, go up, go up. Yeah. I feel very justified by my comment. He looks like his favorite, you know, artist is Sade from the 80s. 
every time his guys score on Bucky, he's like, smooth operator. Smooth operator. <laughs> he, he's so fucking goofy. I love Nick Nurse, too. Yeah. But no. All right. Okay. Like, if Spolstra ever left, I would be like, huh. All right, next we've got um, Wes Unseld for the Washington Wizards. I, I, I thought Scotty Brooks was still too, you know, nah. that team because that's how... Uh, <laughs> He's going to Charlotte. <laughs> yeah, he, he might. <laughs> you know? How irrelevant that organization Let's is. Let's see, Wes Unseld. Man, I just have him as a player, not as a coach. Hold on. Hold on a second. Uh, let me just put Wizards. Yeah, because I don't think it's because a different Wiz, a Wiz up cell came in. It's like he's dead. He, I'm like uh, that can't be right. There we go. There we go. There's there's a uh, Wes. It's Unsell. Wes Unsell Jr. Yeah, yeah. You got me scared, man. Yeah. I'm like, what the guy? Are you? I need more than just. Hey, they're trying to resurrect Kobe all these times, and maybe they finally got one. <laughs> I mean, I need more than. I just Is have it this. me or a lot of the first year coaches have like the same tailor. Between him, between when well, Nate McMillan's not the first top coach, but it was his first full season because it was interim last year, and then Jamal, um, whatever his name is, I feel like they all have the same tailor of clothing. I need mm. diversity in my suits. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you I'm got not, it from Nick I'm Nurse. Not, I'm not feeling it. You got it from Nick Nurse. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not feeling it. I'm all not right. feeling Wes. Okay. So uh, that's it. That's that's it for the uh, NBA. The only vacancies are in Utah and Charlotte for now. And then that's and I I, I doubt they will uh, unseat who Charles is going to pick right now. I think James to give a shout out. James Bereggio, no, because we're, we did it for Quinn Snyder, so I'll do it for James Bereggio. I'm not going to count um, Kenny Atkinson stopping by for a cup of coffee. So <laughs> East Side, baby. It's gotta be Spo. Yeah, Spo's Spo my handsome yeah, man. Yeah, there we go. And then in the finals, it is Jason it's, Kidd versus yep. Eric Spolstra, and, and, and Jason Kidd wins that. Ah, uh, another win for the Mavs against the Heat. All Sorry. right. Okay, that's fine. So Jason Kidd moves on to the to the final versus Gabe Kapler and uh, Sean McVay. That next one, next hockey is gonna be hysterical. Th- yeah. Ne- <laughs> because <laughs> this is like i have nothing i know like yeah. certain dudes oh yeah like pasty white canadian guys here we go yeah yeah, All right, yeah. Get... I, I, I would have to hear them to see how sexy their accents are <laughs> uh hear that a boot you know oh, get, oh, tell right? you've been there all right get some tim mortons there you go 